guys, welcome to my brand new show, The Style Sessions. Today we're in Hanley and Co, William Gate Street, Galway City. And today my guest is Wayne Walsh, he's Mr. Ireland. Hold me close till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. Um, so Wayne, I suppose for anyone that doesn't know you, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, so I've been modeling for the last four years um, with Mandy here in Galway, based in Galway in Dublin. Um, won the Mr. Ireland title last September um, and now I'm heading off to Mr. World in August, so just six weeks away. Well, b best of luck before you go. Um, if you do win it, you're going to definitely have to come back on this show. Uh, we'll 100%, talk about it. 100%. I suppose it, with something like that, it's, a glo it's obviously a global competition. And where where is it taking place? Did you say um, it's taking place, place in the Philippines. In the Philippines, yeah. Oh. So we're going to be over there for nearly three weeks. So it'll be like a crazy experience. So just looking forward to it. Now. Well, guys, if anyone does want to kind of connect with Wayne before he heads and during, uh, I'm going to leave all his details below, and you can follow him at Wayne Walsh. Is it at Wayne Walsh? Yeah. yeah. V very original. <laughs> <The plug. laughs> yeah. Follow him. <laughs> so Wayne, I suppose when people think of male models and modelling in Ireland, uh, people would have a certain stereotype when it comes to it. And I think like it's 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 so so good for someone's confidence to be able to put yourself out there like that. What made you want to get into modeling or was, was were you headhunted or something like that? Um, I suppose for me it was kind of it just kinda of happened off the cuff. I was working in a clothes shop. Um, I ended up doing a fashion show with Mandy just for a bit of fun. Um, met her through there and then it kind of it kind of escalated from there. It started off just doing a little bit with her maybe every couple of weeks and then it kind of progressed and yeah, it was just kind of a natural progression, I suppose. Then was lucky enough to win the final last September, and it's definitely like snowballed massively since then. So um, I suppose it was never one of those things that I would have like always dreamed of in a model. There's no point saying that, like cause that's not the way it was. But um, yeah, it just kind of just kind of happened for me, I guess you know. And what would be your advice then to someone that is kind of looking to get into the, mo the modeling industry in any form? Um, I suppose the big thing is like that if you're enjoying it, it's something that you want to do. By all means go for it, give it a shot, like, you know, but I suppose the other side of it too is, like, it's not, it's not all it's cracked up to be, you know, like, we always talk about the difference between Instagram and, the, like, the reality of these things, like, and you could be traveling a lot, you'd be on the road, there's a lot of work goes in behind the scenes, you know yourself, so, like, it's not as glamorous as it's cracked up to be for, like, the 10 minutes you're on stage or on the catwalk or whatever, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes, so. Yeah, I think from the little experience, strangely, I did a small bit of modelling <laughs> for uh, stock photography last year for a bit, and like, I was inside the forest in the lashing rain getting a few shots for this fella, and I was like, this just isn't worth the money. Yeah, like. 100%, yeah. Like, I did a shoot there, with, um, we were shooting McGuinness the start of this year, like, and it was literally like minus degrees, <laughs> and you're swapping t-shirts in the back of a van, so it's not as glamorous as crack. Yeah, up to try to pull up your jeans in the back of your car, yeah, and the public it. park is, isn't a good look for anyone at 30 really, o'clock yeah. in the morning. It's hard to pull that off. <laughs> yeah. So, Wayne, I, I suppose, obviously, like, uh, the Mr. Ireland competition, you went and won that. How did you find uh, the preparation and then the competition itself? Um, I suppose the prep was like it was just kind of been in the fitness side of it I suppose is a fairly big role so just to be in shape stuff like that minding the food the training um, and then obviously style um, in fairness Hanley's here kidding me out for the final so um, that was looked after so that was kind of it like the competition itself genuinely like I know it's cliche but like the lads I met up there that night like I'm genuinely good friends with a good few of them like um, so that was great like um, and then as I said it's done wonders for my career and stuff since then so it's been it's been all positive for me anyway and you you said there that you won that what 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 do you think made you kind of stand out as opposed to the other contestants the fact that you went and won it because I think we all know people that go for these things but actually go away and actually win it what made or was it just the fact you think your personality came across well did, were you just had you the right look as well for it um I suppose it was probably a mixture of all those things like um, I suppose it's a hard question to answer in the terms that like going into the final you're looking at the other lads and you're saying sure geez he's this and he's that and he has this that I don't have so I suppose it's just one of those on the night whatever the judges went for whatever they seen I suppose that's just kind of what got it over the line. So. Like, what, what would be your kind of go to looks for like nights out and stuff in terms of like your um, style in general? Um, I suppose to be honest myself I, I like to keep it fairly plain in the sense that I don't go for anything too flamboyant or too risky I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, like I just kind of, I suppose 
what's the word? There's a word for it, it's Brett Tashura, is that it? It's like giving off the impression that you're not, not trying, trying, but you actually have yeah. it well thought out. Like. Yeah. So I suppose that kind of thing for me, like, I, as I said, I like to keep it fairly plain, straightforward. And I, I, I think, just kind of thinking of men's style, uh, you're involved as well, you were saying uh, before we started, with Influence Clothing. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about that? Because they're a very kind of stylish brand to be involved Yeah, so um, Influenced, so basically it's a streetwear brand um, based here in Galway. Um, it's just a lot of gym wear, stuff like that. Um, you know yourself, that kind of thing, the tight t-shirts, um, track suits for the gym. It's also like, it's comfortable stuff that you, that like there's a lot of the stuff that you'd wear and like you couldn't possibly go into the gym and train in it. Whereas our stuff, like it's all, you can train in it. It's functional as well as looking the part, you know? Yeah, you could, you could pop a pair of jeans underneath it and it's kind of like a casual look. Yeah. Whereas you can also actually train in it. Yeah, which, is, which is the best yeah. of both worlds. And I think possibly a lot of lads, when they're like, you were saying the fit is good in it because there's nothing worse than wearing like a t-shirt or any sort of outfit. And it's not kind of like, not skin tight to you, but like a good fit. Yeah, a good fit is everything like, because to be fair, you could have the best physique in the world, and if you're wearing a big baggy shirt that's hanging off you, yeah. you're not going to look the part, like you know. So yeah. for me, fit is everything as well. Like. So you're you're heading away to Miss World. Are you going to miss the Galway races this year? Or are you going? No, to I'm still around for the Galway races. Yeah, and I suppose like we're we're here in Hanley, and they, they've an unreal uh, array of suits. What 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 do you look for in a suit when you are going buying one? Um, I suppose what what we just said, like a good fit is everything in a suit. A badly fitted suit, you just can't feel good in it. Like with fashion shows and stuff there, I could be wearing eight or nine suits in a night and you'd often be asked like which was your favourite or whatever after and it's probably going to be the one that fits the best as long as the colour scheme and stuff suits you as well, you know. So for me, getting properly fitted out by a guy that knows what he's doing. Like, i I seen you were modelling there recently and you got married. Um, <laughs> was was that a real marriage or how, has, has it failed since we since I saw that? No, about? that was just... One of my work wives, um, no, in <laughs> fairness, I get married a good bit. Uh, I get married every every week or two. Um, I know, look, the, the bridal shoots, are they're usually good fun, in fairness, and you get to meet nice people. So, uh, no, they're just a bit of fun, to be fair. Is it is it hard when you are doing that, and we'd say you've just met that girl like five minutes before the photo's taken, to be that kind of intimate, we'd say, like, uh, like, up clo like there's obviously kind of up-close photos, etc. Uh, yeah, no, I suppose, you know... Um, some of the girls, in fairness, I work with them a bit, so we kind of we'd have a good working relationship or whatever. But like, yeah, I suppose it's a no natural thing thing to be doing with someone that you met yeah. five minutes ago, yeah. like to be trying to look into her eyes and convincing <laughs> in the camera that you love her. But uh, <laughs> but no, in general, like it's it's always fairly fine. Like, look, to be fair, it is what it is. It's just work, you know. <laughs> love Island quote there. It no, no it cut that. Cut that. <laughs> um, but um, I, I suppose with wedding season coming up, a, a lot of lads. And I know myself, if I am going to a wedding, I always try and kind of look a bit different because so many guys, they, they have very kind of similar looking suits. Um, what, what's, what sort of look would you go for if you are heading to a wedding in terms of your suit or what um, would you wear? Yeah, like you said there, I just try and change it up a small bit, I suppose. Um, just adding in a few different colours, I suppose. The whole the navy thing has kind of probably been done now at this stage. Mm. It's very typical and like could be <laughs> could be a hundred heads in the venue with, with a blue suit. Like. Yeah. So I suppose for me, I think um, I always love classic black and white. I think yeah. that's a really cool, timeless look. Um, something like that for me is always good as well. So you can never have enough blazers if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it just vary of colors because like they're, once they kind of go do your pants in some sense. That's it, yeah. And like as you said, they're a good blazer. You can wear it any way you want. Like you can wear it with a with a nice dress shirt. Wear it with a plain t shirt for something more mm. casual with a pair of jeans. And I was actually at the Cork Row selection. I was escorting at it, and I actually I'd never actually properly worn a tux before. Okay. And I actually really like would. If I was going out in the morning buying a suit, I'd definitely buy a tux. Because, like, as you said, the black and white. Yeah. Such a, a timeless look, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. For me, like, I've worn black and white tux a few occasions now to a few events and stuff. And like that, it's just, it's the fr it's the cleanest cut for me anyway, definitely. And as well, you can wear it to funerals as well, so it's a, <laughs> it's a one for all. <laughs> <laughs> touch but, wood, touch wood. <laughs> touch wood, you wouldn't have too many of them, even though this isn't wood. But, um, so, Wayne, um, I suppose, th that's it really. Thanks so much for coming on. Uh, best of luck in Mr. World. Thank you very I'm much. looking forward to having you on as Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> and we'll have a Pitbull, pitbull. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a Pitbull uh, playing for you. So uh, that's great. Thanks a million. Thank you. Pleasure. And I know we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I Yeah.